Mm. Okay, let's just give the crema, let's just give the crema a taste. Okay, yes. Welcome back to Coffee and K. I am K, and in today's video, I am going to be tasting the Ill Cafe Pod. Now, I know this pod was actually released with this, um, from Nespresso last year around the same time. I did not try it at that time, but I did grab it this year, and I'm gonna try that pod with you on camera, and I'm also going to use it to try out a recipe that I've been eyeing lately. But before we get started, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. When you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the pod we are trying out is the Ill Cafe Pod. This is what that pod looks like. It is a dark green color. It is an intensity of 11. Now on the website it says 11 out of 11, but I thought it went up to a 13. I'm not sure if maybe that's changed or what that's about, but it is an intensity of 11. It is an espresso pod, so it's 1.35 ounces. And the aromatic profile is smooth and velvety. Aromatic notes are roasted and cereal notes. Roastiness is a level five. Acidity is a one. Bitterness is a four and body is a four. So I'm really excited to see how this one tastes. I'm gonna go ahead and brew it, try it black. Then I'm going to make a recipe. I'm gonna try a French toast latte, a recipe that I've been eyeing. So I will go ahead and get the camera set up so we can get this brewed and then we will go from there. Okay, so I went ahead and brewed two capsules of that because I'm gonna use, um, do a, a love taste with this and I'm gonna use double espresso pods. So let me go ahead and smell this. It smells pretty good. Let me see. I brewed it in a glass mug so you can kind of see the level of crema. Now that is two espresso pods, but it's a nice layer of crema. You can definitely pick up on that roastiness. It does. I don't want to say intense because it's not an intense flavor. It is very pleasant, but you can definitely pick up on that. Oh, what is that? Mm. Okay, let's just give the crema, let's just give the crema a taste. Okay, yes. It is bitter. <laughs> um, that's not always a bad thing because once you add milk, of course, the bitterness will dissipate a bit. Um, 
I don't really want to try the crema again. It was really bitter when it went down. Um, and that's like the last impression I get is the bitterness. So we're just going to go on to trying it black. Okay, I can definitely pick up on that roastiness. Yeah, you definitely pick up on the roastiness. Let me see what else they say about it. Because there's something in there. I definitely don't really get any cereal aromas or notes just yet. Um, I definitely, though, you definitely taste the roastiness. Whew. Um, I'm not a black coffee drinker, so I, I can't really um, speak on that part point, but I wouldn't drink it black. It's, let me see what else, what are the other notes? Because there's something to this. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the aromatic profile is definitely smooth and velvety. Um, it is very smooth, but the notes, as far as cereal notes, I don't get those yet. I'm sure I'll probably pick up on those once I add the milk, but just having it black, you definitely get those roasted notes for sure. Um, I'm not really, getting a lot of the you kind of smell a little bit of the cocoa but most the roastiness i mean it is level five so it's pretty intense and that's i can't really seem to get past that so i'm going to i'm gonna add the milk just for video sake and then i'll just add the syrups after for the recipe i want to try so i went ahead and frothed a half cup of the chobani zero sugar oat milk that's the one i've been using oh i can't really add milk in here I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to a different cup. That'll give me a little bit more room. That was a lot, okay. Okay, I went ahead and put it in this cup just so it have a little more room because it is a double espresso. I put the milk in and immediately I'm starting to pick up on those nutty cereal aromas. So let's give it a try and see if it is better this way. Oh yeah. The bitterness is definitely cut down, but that roastiness still pulls through. Um, it's not bad. I couldn't drink this with just milk. The roastiness is, it's a lot, but I am glad that it's intense because that's why I wanted to use this particular pod for today's recipe. Today, I'm going to be making a French toast latte. And for this one, I use two espresso capsules because I'm gonna use two different syrups. And since I'm using half an ounce of each syrup, I definitely wanted something that would stand up to the sweetness. Um, and today's latte, I'm going to be using the maple syrup from Tarani, the pure made maple. And I'm using the Tarani brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Um, I have tried the Tarani French toast syrup and it was good, but it reminded me really heavily of the brown sugar cinnamon. So in today's recipe, I want to actually see if I can make it, but maybe give it a little more of that French toast flavor. Um, because like I say, it just reminded me of the brown sugar cinnamon. So I've added in a half a cup of the Chibani zero sugar oat milk into the two espresso pods. So I'm going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon or half an ounce of each of the syrups. Let's set this here. So I added one tablespoon of each of those, give it a little stir, and then let's see. It smells really good. It is good. It's a little sweet for me, um, but thankfully I use the Il Cafe pod. I think if you were to use maybe the double espresso Sciro pod, you would get the same results. Um, and maybe the double espresso Sciaro, maybe, but it also may be 
not intense enough. It may be a little too sweet because with those more powerful pods, it kind of stands up to the sweetness, but it is really good. I do like it better with the brown sugar cinnamon and the maple syrup than I do with the actual French toast syrup because I feel like the French toast syrup doesn't have enough of that maple to bring the French toast flavor home. So this is definitely a winner. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do like that because you do get the brown sugar cinnamon, but the maple really, again, brings it home that it's French toast. So definitely going to be playing with this. I think it'll be really good also over ice, but the Il Cafe pod was a perfect pod to use to create this recipe. Let me know if you try this recipe at home. Let me know what you think, or if you have any other really delicious recipes that you want me to try out, please put them in the comments. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me there. I'll put it on the screen and it's always in the description box below. I do a lot more coffee recipes there. I play with coffee a lot more. So you'll always see something different. Um, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. When you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.